will touch your life in Jesus' name. Your spirit will wake up. Your soul, your body will wake up. That your child, this one is there, this one is, I don't know, that child will wake up. The pregnancy that I'm not feeling this, I'm not feeling that anymore. Pregnancy come alive in Jesus' name. The business that is dead will come alive. Everything in your life, everything around you is coming alive tonight in Jesus' name. If I'm talking about you, where are you? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and glorify you tonight. Thank you for the joy of the Lord in our state. From sickness, we have come to health. From darkness, we have come into the light. Lord, you have taken us away from the place of despair unto the place of happiness and gladness. We pray that the great things you are doing, you have done, will never stop in every life in Jesus' name. I pray that this very night, resurrection power, miracle working power, supernatural power will walk in every life in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Joel chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 14. Joel chapter 3 verse 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in that valley of decision. Every success you make in life is based on decision. Every progress you make in life is based on decision. Every mountain you climb, every ladder you climb, every kind of place, destiny you get to, it is based on decision. If you spend your life in the valley of indecision, you are never sure of what you are going to do. You can never make up your mind. Should I? Should I not? Will I? Will I not? Others are doing it. Is it my turn? Is it not my turn? If you cannot make up your mind, if you cannot say, here is what to do, I'm ready, I'm doing it now. If you never come to a point of decision in your life, many great things will pass you by. That's why tonight I'm calling you to this momentous time in your life that you will say, tonight you'll be a man of decision, a woman of decision. A boy, a girl of decision. You will find that before long, something great, miraculous, supernatural will be yours. That's why it says in verse 14. 
It says multitudes, multitudes. It's talking about all of us who are here. Because he knows that wherever you are there in the multitude, your destiny depends on decision. And it says multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. And then it says the day of the Lord is near. The day of blessing. And the day of vengeance against your enemy. The day of destruction for the devil. The day of giving the command to that evil sin in your life. Get out and it gets out. That day is near in the valley of decision. I'm calling you to three decision tonight. Number one, there is the invitation to come. Just one word. Come. Peter will never have known what is the experience of walking on water if he had not heard that command and that challenge come. Coming outside the boat, outside confinement, and coming to the wide ocean of life, walking on the storms of life, walking on the, on the waves of life, doing what his father, grandfather, forefathers have never done. Do you know what Jesus could do? It came on the basis of answer response to that decision. So I'm going to call you to number one, calm. There are many people that commence the start, but they don't go too far. They get tired easily. They have plans. I will go. I will do. I will serve. I will pray. I will read the Bible. I will get my blessing. After one night, they forget. And I say, my friend, you are still where you were when I saw you the other time. What happened to you? He did not take decision to continue. If there's anybody that is going to get to the top of any mountain. I'm looking at somebody. You are getting to the top of the mountain. I'm looking at somebody. What he said others will never do. A man has never done it in our village. A woman has never got there in a village. I'm looking at a man there right now. I'm looking at a woman right there now. What people have never done in your generation, now it's your turn, you will do it. Something new they will say, where did this come from? How could you get there? First of all, I rejoice with you. The joy of achievement, the joy of success, and the joy of victory, and the joy of getting to that destiny. Shake my hand. Congratulations. 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 You will get there in Jesus' name. <clears throat> because you come. Hey, it's almost here. A night when the most brilliant stars will shine. The All-Stars. 
The AGT All-Stars, our incredible new version of America's Got Talent. With the biggest fan favorite acts and winners from AGT and other Got Talents around the world. It's like AGT goes supernova. We got the craziest, most viral acts. It's a total spectacle. AGT All-Stars, a meteor shower of talent. You are really leaning into this astronomy stuff, aren't you? It's so good, right? Join us January 2nd on NBC. The American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge communities offer a free home away from home, closer to cancer care. People are meant to be together. Donate to help keep it that way. Because you continue. Look at him. The one who started primary school but did not continue, that's why they call him illiterate. The one that started marriage did not continue. That's why they call them bachelors. The one that started work, company, business, I'm tired. A little difficulty. They cannot continue. That's why they say they're poor. The decision to come. The decision to continue. Number three. The decision to conquer. Any conqueror here tonight? I said any conqueror here tonight. I said any conqueror there tonight. You will conquer. Conquering takes a decision. Everything will come against your decision. Look at Golach there. There is an Eliab, your senior brother. That will say, what are you doing here? If you are the David that can say, is there not a cause? Am I not here for a reason? And you brush every distractor out outside your way and then when Saul says you cannot if you have made up your mind that nobody can change your mind and you say that Goliath I am going to conquer him remember remember David came he didn't stop there. David continued. He didn't stop there. David conquered. Anybody there? You will conquer. Three words I'm looking at tonight. Number one, come. Number two, continue. Number three, conquer. I'm talking to you on the decision of the conqueror. The decision of the conqueror. You already know now that if you're going to conquer in your life, it, you, must start, you must start by taking a decision. When God created you, he had a plan for your life. It's not to be a mediocre. It's not to be just a dick and hurry. It's not to be a superficial person. There is a record in heaven that shows that you have a divine purpose of existence. And that it depends if you're going to get to that destiny. There must be a decision in your life. The decision of the conqueror. And this is not something you'll go and ask my friend. Should I? Should I not? You have your own brain. Use your brain. You have your own mind. Use your mind. You have your own heart. Use your heart. 
You have your mouth, use your mouth. You cannot eat with your neighbor's mouth. You cannot breathe with your neighbor's lungs. You cannot think with your neighbor's brain. If you are going to succeed in life, personal decision, the decision of the conqueror. Number one, the invitation for all to come. The invitation for all to come. You are coming to Christ. I said you are coming to Christ. I, I see you, but I want to hear you. I said you are coming to Christ. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come unto me. He is the Savior. He is the Lord. Where you are, there is no salvation there. Where you are, there is no rest of mind there. Where you are, there is too much anxiety. There is too much worry. There is too much oppression. There is too much affliction. There are so many failures around you. He says, get up out of that place. The people that surround you, they moderate and they modify and they kind of influence your thinking. If you're in the midst of sinners, you'll be sinning like them. If you are the solitary single person among smokers, you'll soon begin to smoke. If you are only one innocent person among guilty people, condemned people, you'll soon be guilty yourself. If you're a clean person, hygienic person, but you are living in the midst of the people that only chew their chin stick only once a month, you will soon copy them. If you are a clean person, that normally you take your bath. If you are living in the midst of people that wash only at Christmas and Easter, you will soon begin to do the same thing. You are not, that's not your group. That's not your class. You are made for the mountaintop. You are made for heaven. You are made for glory. You are made for a high destiny. That's why Jesus said, come. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy lady. Look at how you have been laboring. You try your best. I want to be good. How good are you now? I want to be righteous. How righteous are you now? I want to be this and that. My friend, time is going. 30 years gone already. 37 years gone already. Look at where you are. Another 10 years will come now. Why don't you come to Jesus tonight? Let him forgive your sin. Let him take your condemnation away. Let him take hold of your hand. And then begin to walk in the direction of going up. So that today will be a day of the beginning of a bright future in your life. That's why he's calling upon you. And it takes a decision. The invitation for all to come. He says, come unto me. Because he knows what you can do with your life. 
that car that is broken down, reg, Jesus Christ will take that car of your life. He'll make it brand new. The world wants to make you a doormat. They want to be walking on you and rubbing their shoes on you and all the dirty things in your life they want to deposit in your life. He said, come out of that place. Get out of that place. You don't belong there. God made you in his own image. He wants to make something beautiful out of your life. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady. And then he says, I will. And when he says, I will, Satan cannot say no. When he says, I will, demon cannot say no. And I will give you rest. Number one, invitation for all to come. And that takes a decision from you. You'll take that decision. Your life will never be the same. You will mark this day down. The day you made up your mind. The day you took a decision. Lord Jesus, I come. Lord Jesus, I come. My Savior, I come to you. Rest will come to your soul. Restoration will come unto you. New life will come unto you. Number one, come. Number two, continue. Continue. Have you seen those unfinished buildings in some of your towns? Great foundation. Great plan. But now, all the weeds are grown around that unfinished building. The reptiles and the snakes and the different, different uh, kind of lizards, they are now, they ha that's their habitation now. And the people of the dark, uh, of the dark world, that's where they now hold their whatever they hold. Everybody passes there and nobody wants to drop any good thing in that place. It was a good plan, a good building. A great architect made the plan of that building. There were resources to build that building. But it's an unfinished building. Why? The builders did not continue. There are many people in this life they're like unfinished products. They started, they didn't continue. They attended crusade. They took the first step. Yes, Lord, I come. Yes, Lord, I come. You meet them on the street. Unfinished building. Unfinished personality. Unfinished Christian. Unfinished, a unfinished man. And the weeds have grown around their personalities. All the reptiles are walking all over their bodies. And their Bible is dusty. Prayer life is gone. It's an unfinished product of a man. An unfinished product of a woman. That's why the Lord is calling you today. You will not be an unfinished house. 
you will not be the one that will pass and say, oh, what a pity. It would have been a good building. If something had continued there, you will not be a person where we look at and shake our head that you are an unfinished product. Point number two, the identification of those who continue. When the angels look at you and they know that you came and you are continuing. You came to Christ. You came to salvation. You came into eternal life. You came into the light. And you came into the protection of the Lord. And you continue. John chapter 8. Reading from verse 30. John chapter 8 verse 30. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then Jesus said... To those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. If you continue, salvation will continue. If you continue, healing will continue. If you continue, Deliverance will continue. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Showers of blessings. Showers of miracles. Showers of the supernatural. The explosion of supernatural miracles will continue in your life. Because you continue. The decision to continue so that you will not be an unfinished product. I will continue. What are you? I will continue. I said, I will continue. Difficulties may come, difficulties are not supposed to run you down, to destroy you, to send you back. The difficulties and the challenges will only come to test how strong your decision is. If you show that you are a man of decision, a woman of decision, let the wind blow, I will not go back. Let the storm rise, I will not go back. Let the challenges rage. I will not come, go back. Once the enemy knows that you are a man of decision. And you are identified as a decisive man, a decisive woman. Satan will leave your life alone. He will give you great blessings you never thought of. Almighty God will give you. The people who come, but they don't continue, they never get to the final point. They never conquer. But the people that conquer, I remind you once again of David. He came to the camp. That is the first step. The decision to come. And then he saw Goliath. He made up his mind. I am going to conquer Goliath. Every Goliath of your life you will conquer. So he began to discuss so that he can make a way to get there. And then his brother said, no, you can't. What are you doing here? He left him alone. 
the people that have not made up their minds and they want to set you back, leave them alone. When the victory comes, they will run after you. Saul said, you cannot. David said, yes, I can. I can. What are you? I can. I can. They said, you cannot. I say. King said, you cannot. I say. Your brother said you cannot. I say. You want to go to deeper life. You of all people. You cannot. And I say. Let them hear. Let the heavens hear. I can't. I'm telling you, I can. I'm telling you, I can. The same Saul that said, you cannot, when you win and you conquer, he will say, whose boy is this lad? They will ask about you. They will question about you. When you conquer, you get to that final point. Everybody will be looking, who is this boy? Who is this girl? Who is this man? Who is this woman? What is he? How tall are you? I said, how tall are you? I said, how tall are you? You are like this? I will ask about your name. The people will ask about your name. That time when they see you, you'll be taller than you are now. I've not finished. I've not finished. You can sit down now. I must take you to the point you must conquer. Where am I taking you to? Where is Jesus taking you to? You will conquer in Jesus' name. Number one, come. Number two, tell me. Continue. We'll come to number three. You will conquer sin. You will conquer sickness. You will conquer Satan. You will conquer poverty. You will conquer oppression. You will conquer Goliath. Your day of conquering has now come today. Number one, the invitation for all to come. Number two, the identification of those who continue. Number three, the impartation on those who conquer. A spiritual impartation is coming upon your life. Power and authority coming upon your life. From today, if you make up your mind to decide to conquer, you will conquer in Jesus' name. They see whatever you decide is what you become. That's why you come tonight to this valley of decision. You decide to come. You decide to continue. You decide to conquer. That victory, nobody will take it away from you. In Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. In all these things, all those things that surround you where you came from, 
in the midst of all those things. As you make up your mind, you decide. The spirit of the conqueror, the boldness of the conqueror, the courage of the conqueror, the focus of the conqueror, and the single mindedness of the conqueror is coming upon you right now. You will not go back. You will not turn back. As you make up your mind and you decide to come and to continue, the next time I see you, I will see somebody more than a conqueror. All challenges that you carried brought to this place, all those challenges are gone. The guilt and the condemnation and sin that bowed you down, everything is lifted away. And the confusion, what will I do? What I'm confused, what am I going to do? All the crying and all the sobbing, everything is gone. You are a happy man now, a happy woman now. Jesus will be by your side. The Holy Ghost will be your comforter. God will be your heavenly father. Every mountain you will climb. Every ocean you will cross. Every challenge you will overcome. Because you are a man, you are a woman of decision. I come. I come. I come. I will continue. I will continue. I am a conqueror. Rise up. You tell the Lord. A man of decision. That's what makes it in life. A woman of decision. You are not dilly You are not up and down here and there. I'm not sure. Will I? Will I not? Make up your mind. I've decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. You must take that first step. Have the forgiveness of your sin. Have the salvation of your soul. Respond to that invitation of Christ. Yes, Lord, I come. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. It's bad and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You're making up your mind. If you have not done this before, that you solidly today, convincingly today, resolutely today, you are deciding to honor the invitation of Christ. Come unto me. Come out of your sin. Come out of that darkness. Come out of that idol worship. Come unto me. You are making up your mind right now. A great day of decision. Let's bow down, eyes closed. Just raise up your hand there. Something good will happen. Salvation will come to you. Eternal life will come to you. Where are you? Raise up that hand. Make up your mind now. This is final. I'm coming to Christ with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind. Raise up that hand. Raise it up very well. Are you ready to pray? I can't hear you. Okay. Keep up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I pray for these, my brothers and sisters. These are our sons and daughters. As they make up their minds right now, say, yes, I've decided to follow Jesus. He says, come, I come. Lord, I identify myself. Here am I, Lord. I come out of sin. Eat your salvation. I come out of condemnation. I come into your forgiveness. As they raise up their hands, Lord, as they decide to come to Christ, forgive them in Jesus' name. All their past sin, erase everything from them. Take everything away from your book of remembrance in Jesus' name. You said you will give them rest. Give peace to their soul. Give rest to their soul. Restore the backslider even now. Let the spirit bear witness with their hearts right now. That they are now children of God. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the rest in their soul. Thank you for the peace in their mind. Thank you for that eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Number one, I come. Say that aloud. Will you, will you continue? Will you continue? Or will you be like an unfinished building? I come. I will continue. Say that again. Say that again. Say it with assurance and confidence. Now I am a conqueror. Now you are going to conquer sickness. You are going to conquer paralysis. You are going to conquer every evil sin, every attack of the enemy tonight. Who will give testimony tonight now? The conquerors, the conquerors, the conquerors. You have a testimony in Jesus' name. Get ready now to conquer. You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand on yourself. Resurrection time. Supernatural power time. Raise up that hand. And lay the other hand on yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this night of conquering. I bring your people before you. I pray that every sickness will fall before them. All those evil powers and torments will fall before them. Lord, I come in your name. And I pray for your people now. Every sickness, every infirmity, I command you, Come out in Jesus' name. All the swelling of any size, any type, anywhere, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Madness, insanity, epilepsy, I command you, Come out in Jesus' name. Fire 
Ahi Broch, Anir. Come out in Jesus' name. All the pain, all the affliction in your body, I command them right now. Come out in Jesus' name. All the spell, all the charms, all the sins the devil and agents of Satan put upon your body, I release you now. Be free in Jesus' name. I pray that every one of you will receive the touch of God right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. I sent for the power of God upon everyone. You have conquered your sickness. You have conquered those evil spirits. You have conquered all those attacks. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Lord, confirm it right now. Set everyone free. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. I thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name I pray. It has happened. It has happened. It has happened. You are a conqueror already. You have conquered every sickness. You have conquered every infirmity. The pain is gone. The sickness is gone. Check up right there. Check up right there. Check up right there. It is done. Amen. It is done. You have got it. I say you have got it. Check off your body. Yeah, go out of the room. Check off. Yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa. That swelling has disappeared. On top of the poor That thing that has swollen your body is gone. On top of the go out of the room. Check off your body. Yeah, go out of the room. Check off your eyes. Yeah, what do you do? Blind eyes are now open. What do you do for that? You can see where now. What do you do for that? And you are banning the man that I brought you on. Oh, yeah, and I want to know what you think about this. He made his food start working. He was a teller. Oh, yeah, I'm not today. Money. Yes. What is that? What is that? Check off your body. Yet, yeah, woo. Check off. Yeah, woo. Yeah, woo. Yes. Money, yeah, woo. What is that? Yes, I can see that miracle over there. More it on. What is that? Yeah, woo. Check off your body. Yeah, go out of the woo. Your neck that could not work, you start be, it begin to work now. Yes, you Throw away your crutches. The word of God has gone out. The servant of God has prayed. You have received your healing. You can see all on tick that do that. Do you have no? Did the Lord take care of? Deaf ears. Eighty to the. Check off. Yeah, woo, yeah, woo. God has opened your ears. Only what is your tear? Yes, sir. Dumb tongues. I have to tell you sorrow. But as you sorrow, begin to talk. Sorrow, get it. Those pains in the body, they have come. Yes. 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 Is there a notice a lembe? What is to get the sibe? Yeah, woo, yet yeah, woo. Yet or do I woo? Near Bagakene, is there a notice one bay? Near Bagaki, by say, I know that. Yes, what is a lay? Begin to 
Begin to check on. Those people that have received their healing, bring them out. I want you to say, They are going to have testimony. They are going to celebrate with them. The miracle has taken place. Continue checking on. In hall number five. To my right hand side. Check on. 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 It to Jadi Agba Olodu to Farah. It to Jadi Agba Olodu Mare. Ah, Aratiri. 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 It to Jadi Olodu Mare. Agba Olodu to Farah. Yes, we want to listen to testimony now. Praise the Lord. My name is Ebra Tayo Dushusi. I'm from Hospital District, Ileife. It happened that on Sunday, while we were going out for publicity for this crusade, I was trying to connect something uh, behind a truck. As I attempted to, uh, to come down, I had a fall and had a serial and sustained a serial injury to my knees. I thought it was a joke. So we proceeded for the publicity. But by the time we ended the publicity, it was no more easy. So the following day, I had to go to the hospital. Getting to the hospital, the test was conducted. They said I had a fracture to my tibia. And uh, a lot of things were said that I was not happy with. And I was given a lot of drugs. Even people that said it, uh, some of them are in this crusade. And they say I should go on with these crutches for some weeks. And I was given this knee brace. But I must confess, using the crutches are not, is not very easy. Even to walk a short distance with a, a lot of difficulties. But I thank the Lord that today, as the, the servant of the Lord was praying, he said we should do what we couldn't do. And at the end of the prayer, I was able to walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I want to love Jesus. The blood of the head has been healed by Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Don't you need to call out the head of the head? Don't you have to use the head of the head? Oh, Lord. Call out the head of the head. I've done the miracle. 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 Jesus Christ, Lord, say you see what it is from our Lord who called Jesus. Hello, me. Another testimony. Praise the Lord. This boy is Sunday Akin. He was staying very close to where my wife was working. He was born with wither hand, but he was standing by my side as we are praying this evening. All of a sudden, he was able to raise this hand. He was able to hold paper with it. He was just say, ha, that is something has happened. Then I said, come and give testimony. Praise the Lord. Alakuni, Sunday, I came to the Lord. I'm going to go 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 to Oni pe owo ma ti se mu nkan pe owo owo fi mu nkan lara tele be be de se bi mo ni e sugbon lale olorun o gba ko sonu aye re owo na ti na e ke haleluya haleluya For more than a year, or what? Or less? Same month, can? And the hands have been withered for thirty years. Or more than say you are one year, same month, can? He was born like that. One big man, Benny. He was born with withered hands. One big, but you are one country, or less? Thirty years ago. Or more than say you. The hands like that. Oh, till if you are one, you move in Kabai last Saturday. Now stretch that hand. Now one year, so keep by. Or one year, Lona, so keep by. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has healed you. 
Iluwa ti wo san. Yo re titi loruko ji. Ele. Ma lo. Ba te wo la fun Jesus Christ. Eni to fe jeri mi. Eni de bi de adegbe yi. Ma la ni amu mi. O yi ti to nkan bi adun mede gbe. Sugbon la la le yi. Mo dupe lodo Olorun pe ni Olorun ni omi tan. Mo po wa kan ori nbe ma. Kania for 15 years has disappeared. La to do ke edogun ipa to wa ni be ti salo. The swelling of Kania 15 years has vanished out of her. Odoke dogo ti ese yen ti wa nbe o ti koja o ti pura Oluwa ti tu o sile Praise the Lord Hallelujah The Anya will not come back again in Jesus name Ko ni pala wa ma loruko Jesus Next person Eni to kan My name is Adejumolu Atosin from OAU. It ha what happens to me was that I have the case of breast lump for almost, let's say, six years. But I didn't notice, and I didn't notice, and I didn't count it as a, I didn't count it at all, and I, I didn't even have, as a, I didn't have any, I didn't have an idea of it. So it was, it occurred, it, it now sprung, it sprang out there on Friday. I was having serious pain on my two breasts. So I, there's one doctor in my uh, fellowship. I told him, I explained to him that this is what is happening to me. And he said I should come and meet him at a uh, teaching hospital on Monday. And on Monday, I went to teaching hospital. When I got there, they tested me. They, I went to, I will undergo so many tests. And it was discovered that it was lump. So the doctor now said that it, it is a normal thing that, but I, I, it's a normal thing that what they can do for me right now is, is, is that I should make up my mind and tell them that I should make up my mind that am I going to, that am I going to undergo the operation right now as I'm, as I'm sitting, that they are going to book me up. So immediately when they said it, I said, and I confirmed it in my, in my heart, that by the, by, I, I, according to the word of Jesus that said, by his stripes we are healed. So I, I told the doctor that I have not make up my mind that this is my body, there will be anything called blade, nothing called, that, not, there's, nothing, there's nothing that will be called blade, nothing called operation. So I keep on to the faith. Everybody, I, to some people that are here from before I went to the hospital, they asked me that was, what is the heart come? And I told them that this is, what, this is what the doctor said. And I said, this thing, I'm not going to undergo any hospital, any operation. I called my mom that please, this is what is happening. But I want you to have it. I want you to join your face with mine and, and, told, and, told, and tell God that this operation is not going to happen. I call my dad, my sister, everybody, they are so, they are so panicked. That what, what, as in the operation, they are so panicked of the operation. But to me, since then, I have that peace of mind. And yesterday, when I went to Face Clinic, the, uh, when I went to um, Power Night, what the, our pastor said, he said that we should, conf we should confess things and it will, be conf it will be established in our life. So yeah, that yesterday, I hold on to my faith. And today, and I'm gonna, since that Monday, I told God that since my pastor is coming here, that when I see, when I saw my, when I see my pastor, that I'm going to see my miracle. I'm going to see my, I'm, I'm going to see Jesus. So when, when I, I, I even came to the guy, to, to this car, but I came late. So but when, I, when I came to the front, I saw the pastor and I know that since then, I I believe that I saw my Jesus. So immediately after the prayer, I check the lump and there is nothing there again. And I know that there is, there is nothing there again. It's already gone and it's vanished. Amen. Amen. How many, how, how long has the lump been there? It has been there? It has been there for like six years. For, six for like years. six years. Six years, long cancer lump has disappeared. Amen. I hope you know why you told you I'm not ti won ti ni yonu ninu oyan won won lo si ile iwo san ni oba be me won lo university won si fi dire mule wi pe lo to o na ni wa la yen wa nbe won ni ko ku inu wi pe owo sise abe o lo ngba olorun gbo wi pe olorun o wo ohun san ohun ati awon obi won gba adura o si ni igbagba oni pe nigba ti baba wa tin bo wa si bi loni to nba ti oju gan ni won se ya nu osele lowo lo ra eleyin adura olusagunta gba olorun ti wo san patapata Oh, today, Mola, I don't care. Hallelujah. Now, for six years, has been removed. Come, 
cancer in your life is also gone in Jesus' name. Next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, look at me, Mrs. Taken, they are both doing. Would you put a little alone? What I see along to a lie, Yeni. Oh, my dear, Connie, a mini mobi. That's it, that I see, Billy, baby, near share a coat, good to our home. Show us one dead, I see. Let's say, oh, no, what's the city? I say, yet, walking there, me, that da. She don't know, I shall lay ye. I go along for walk on. I say, yet, what's the good to our home? So, I'm a dad, I buy Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Something here that has grown up miraculously. Yes, sir. You go to our own. You go to our own. You go to our own. I walk up and down and I see that it is still. You are walking up and down. Yes. And it was different from the way you were Only! On love, you are going to set it to our own. And the Lord has straightened your legs. How how old are you? Fourteen years. Uh, since you are born, that leg has been shorter than the other. What be so many money? Pay a second to go to Kaji. Which leg was shorter? The left leg. A cell sire only go to Ti Oton. Sugmani is saying, maybe I did it, Doga. The two legs are equal now. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs>